Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Calendar for time blocking and organizing your schedule. Behavioral researchers have found that multitasking really negatively impacts performance. Whereas sequential working, okay, working sequentially improves performance. And a massive determinant to performance is scheduling. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set up scheduling um, particularly for students, but anyone can use this. Okay, how to set up your time blocking with a timetable, your um, school timetable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump over to my um, calendar. And this is basically my schedule and how I'm time blocking. So let me go ahead and show you this. I'm gonna come off my main calendar here, my core calendar. I'll take off my fitness calendar. And the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, incorporate tasks into your time blocking. So let's just go ahead and start with a test calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a test calendar. So as a student, you'll probably start off with a morning registration, an advisory or something uh, similar to that. This is an event that happens every day at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Sunday. That's when the week starts. And I'm gonna type in advisory or registration and what I like to do is I like to uh, use the emoji keyboard here to add in a little emoji. Another top tip is actually your titles in caps because then it's easier just to see as well. Okay, so advisory, the time that it starts, make sure you put in the AM, PM because it, otherwise that block is gonna be a massive block. If this was PM, you can see that the block is going from 7 AM all the way down and so clearly um, visually I can see that there's a mistake there. I need to change this to AM. Like I said, this is a repeating event. So what's gonna happen is I need to click on uh, do not repeat and I wanna go ahead and repeat every weekday. Now, every weekday isn't Monday to Friday because here in the Middle East, we actually, our weekend is Friday and Saturday. So I'm gonna go and do a custom repeat here. So I'll, just, I'll show you that again. So go to do not repeat, go down to custom and then I'm gonna repeat this for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And this is gonna con continue, the cadence here is every week, it repeats every once, once a week. Find out what your scheduling is and then you can end it then. So I'm gonna go ahead and say end 30th of July. Okay, I'm gonna go press okay. I can also, if I click on the calendar, I can also set a notification. Now your account may have a default notification of 10 minutes, you can add different notifications, you can change these notifications. I prefer not to have notifications set on advisory. I know where I need to be. I just need to block it into my calendar so that I, I can see it's there every day. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and just save that. And you can see it's repeated for the whole week, um, that advisory. It's not repeated just for this week. If I press on, if I go to the view and I press on month view, you can see that this is repeating in every week in every month until 30th of July. So let me go back and, and by the way, uh, in the view, I, you can see here it's got D-W-M-Y-A-X. If I just press W, it will go to my week view. If I press on A, it will go to my schedule and so on and so forth. Okay, so now that I've repeated, I've shown you how to do a custom repeat. What I wanna do is I wanna duplicate an event. Now, I've got advisory which repeats every single day. I also have a break slot that repeats every single day. It's the same break every day. So instead of creating that entire block, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this advisory on Sunday. I'm gonna click on the three dots and I'm gonna go ahead and say duplicate. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this event and then I just need to change out the title. So this is gonna be the break time, yeah? So break or lunch, I'll just call it lunch. Again, I like to customize this by doing a little emoji, okay, for that title. So I'm gonna say 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, again, the repeat, the custom repeat is already on there because I've just duplicated the advisory slot. So the custom repeat is still there. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the color for this. I like to have it yellow banana. Again, you can set up notifications. I don't need to set up a notification. I just wanna block that time in, in my calendar so that I myself and other people that wanna collaborate and see my calendar can see that I've got my lunch break there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And now you can see that I've got my lunch slot blocked on my calendar. So I've shown you two things so far, how to, how to get custom repeats and how to duplicate events. What about events like, let's say I'm a student and I've got physics or bio, I've got bio um, Sunday morning, and then it repeats every Sunday, but it also repeats on 
a Wednesday afternoon. So how do I do that? Well, that's a single event. So I'm gonna go ahead and click wherever it is. Maybe it starts at eight in the morning on Sunday. So I'm just gonna click on my calendar, eight in the morning on Sunday. And this is gonna be bio. So I've already set the date and the time, eight to nine. I'm gonna click on uh, this and I wanna repeat it every Sunday. So weekly, every Sunday. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'll just choose a color here. I'm gonna go with Sage. Now I do want a notification for this because I just wanna remind myself and I don't want it for 10 minutes, I want it maybe four minutes. So I'm gonna do a custom notification here. Okay, custom notification. I'm gonna put this down for three minutes before the class happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and press save. Now that's repeated every week on a Sunday. Now if I press M on my keyboard, I can see here, every week on a Sunday, it should be repeated. So here we go, Sunday, repeated, Sunday, repeated, Sunday, I've got bio. So you can see I've got my bio every Sunday. Let's go back to a week view. I also have bio biology on Wednesday afternoon. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna to go to the three dots and I'm gonna duplicate this. And, but I need to change the date because this is not on a Sunday now, it's on a Wednesday afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the date here. This is for a Wednesday, so 27th. And this is in the afternoon. It's actually um, 105, 105 p.m. for an hour till 2, 2.05 p.m. And I want that to repeat day weekly every Wednesday. Go ahead and press save. So here we go, I've got my bio, which repeats on Sunday weekly and a Wednesday weekly. Like this, you start blocking out your timetable and what it will look like eventually, once you start scheduling everything, okay, you start blocking everything out, it will eventually start looking like this. So I've blocked out everything here. Now, what I personally do is when I have meetings, I do put them on my core calendar. And on my core calendar, I color code them as gray. Okay, so I make all my meetings as gray, so I know that they, they stick out like a sore thumb. I can see them uh, as these gray units. What's brilliant is if I press A on the keyboard, if I go to the view and I go to my schedule, I can immediately see where I'm supposed to be at a particular time in that day, so I keep myself organized. This helps, my scheduling helps my productivity because it avoids me being a perfectionist and it avoids me procrastinating at the same time, so it kills two birds, one stone. Let's go back to the week view. So as you're doing this, you're gonna start blocking out your time. Uh, if something changes, a meeting changes, what you can do is you can pick it up and move it as a block. So I can go ahead and just pick this block up and move it. Uh, and then that will ask you, because it's a repeating event, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna change it just for this event? Do you wanna change it for following events? Or do you wanna change it for all events, which includes past events? Now I only wanna change it for this particular event, okay? Because this week's um, meeting has shifted from 2.30 to 4. 4 p.m. Okay, so I can shift that event. Things that you can schedule for yourself. So for example, I'm gonna show you this here. I've got a fitness schedule here. You have the flexibility to be more productive to when it suits you. So my schedule here for my fitness, so what is it? It's, uh, it's Wednesday today. Let's go to the correct week. It's Wednesday today. I've got back and biceps. I know that I've supposed to meet a friend um, today and I'm going to the bike shop, so I can add that in here. Okay, I can add it as an event and I can invite that person as well. So I can collaborate with people here. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's Wednesday. I'm meeting him at four o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and press this and I'm gonna say uh, meet at the bike store. Now I can go ahead and find uh, that person and add them as a guest so that they get a, an invitation as well. So if I go ahead and I find that person here, I can add them in. And then when I send this out from four to five, so when I send this out, they'll get a notification as well, okay? So when I go ahead and press on save, would you like to send an invitation email to Google Calendar guests? I can go ahead and send this out and then Ajaz will get a message to say, hey, we're meeting at this point. You can also do things where you can add a location. So on my schedule, I can go ahead and add a location yeah, that's the bike store. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to that bike store. So we've got a location there. But it is true, I am meeting Gages today at 4 p.m. to go to the bike store. In a nutshell, that's calendar blocking. It allows you to set up your schedule so that you um, have flexibility in performing one, time, one task at a time sequentially. The benefit of it is that you can collaborate with people. People can see when you're blocked out for a certain 
task or a certain agenda item that you've got going on. Uh, and so they know not to disturb you during that time if you're collaborating your calendar, sharing your calendar with your colleagues, your peers or your friends. Right, in the next video, I'm going to be integrating tasks into this. So make sure you check that out. It will be here somewhere. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.